party people you're here on another grand theft audio radio with uh possibly but also plausible deniability right, so like, <laughs> right absolutely I, this may not be the real jake belcher this may be like some imposter or um puppet version of him dude honestly with the way you've tightened it it actually yes. makes you look a little bit like uh uh, uh bb8 Got oh, the orange and the yellow. Sure. Look, look how round your sure. head is when you get a chance to look at it on screen. I don't like to look at myself on screen. I'll check it out later because I hate the way I look. I look <laughs> when I crank my, my neck up that direction. Kinda. No, no, not me. Uh, possible Jake. The right. way he looks when he cranks his neck up. He's right. not happy with that. Grow, growing a beard and you're going to be uh, doing the whole Ted Kaczynski. Grow Kaczynski a beard? Thing. I got I got like No, beard. no, I mean full on like like bushy with mustache. Like, like a, a guy who's been out in the backwoods for far too long. I guess so, man. I'm, I'm totally rocking it. You're rocking a good look, though. though. Yeah. You know, like, of course. It is total summertime here in Southern California, and Jake Belcher may or may not be enjoying it. He may be here in studio right now talking to you. He may be up in, uh, you know, Montana fishing or something. The, the guy's a mystery. He's a real enigma and hard to solve. He sure is. But uh, he has given me some information. Sweet. What's that? Uh, I had a very good week. He had a very good week. Oh, he had a very good week. He had a very good week. Right on. How was your week, man? Uh, week was pretty decent. Uh, what was the best part of it? Oh, definitely the 4th of July. Yeah. Had a, had a really good time. Went out and uh, started off the day with an ultimate uh, uh, water balloon fight. Oh. Uh, uh, my uh, uh, friend's uh, brother and sis- uh, sister and brother-in-law mm-hmm. and uh, niece spent... The evening before, filling up uh, six hundred water balloons. Shit, that's a lot of water. All balloons. one at a time. I mean, you were you were mentioning that there. I guess there are devices now that allow you to do like Fif- twenty to fifty. Fifty at, at once. I 50 bought at once. Um, a couple of them, <clears throat> but okay. I haven't used them yet. No, no. Jake may have bought a couple of them, but he hasn't used them yet. Right, right. But uh, all one at a time, and just uh, they had two bathtubs that were just filled with them, and uh, so later that uh, that. Uh, uh, that day we, we went out and uh, and uh, did that and had some hot dogs and mac and cheese. Hot dogs. hot dogs and mac and cheese. Oh, so and you ate over there? Yeah, we had a lot. We had lunch there, and then mm. uh, after that, uh, uh, Charlie and I, uh, uh, my friend's son, we went over to uh, Jake's house. Nice uh, place. Yes, and he and his wife uh, threw a really nice um, barbecue. And, what did they uh, serve? Uh, bacon wrapped shrimp oh and uh, brought. I believe it was bratwurst. I think it was like an Italian sausage. Okay, the, with some kind that's of what sausage. Jake told me at least with some kind of sausage that was still. They were both very very good. Sure, um, did, did did that? Got to relax. Got to uh, swim in their little pool. Yeah, lounge in the pool and then uh, did a little hot tub in uh, as hot well. Hot tub in. Uh, that was uh, quite nice and. Uh, just so I understand that he was very nervous about having people over. Because he didn't know, because this is a new place for him. Right. He didn't know if you're going to be able to see uh, fireworks from his house or exactly, not. Exactly. And we were very, very pleased to find out that uh, they actually have a pretty good little view uh, of the uh, fireworks displays that go on at the uh, Crescenta Valley High School. So uh, we got a chance. And yeah, then, his house is close to the Crescenta Valley High School. That's not enough to be able to catch him by. Just like no. it's not enough to be able to catch him by some of these details that we're going to get into here in a few minutes. But um, Right. You won't be able continue. to find him still. Continue. Um so we got to we got to see fireworks, and then two doors down, he's got a couple of neighbors. He's got a neighbor who uh, felt that uh, that wasn't celebratory enough sure. fireworks, so he brought his own and uh, launched those up a couple of times uh, during the uh, fireworks display itself, which was kind of fun because they were so much closer. Yeah, they were right above the house. <laughs> I have some uh, semi-racist neighbor uh, to them who is um, was very excited in their Armenian pride. They're like, "Yeah, Armenians!" Yep, they have a racist neighbor. Well, at the same They're time, celebrating he, the racistness. He, uh, but he he celebrated the 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 Americanism as well. I mean, he he did have both flags up in the sure. in the in the yard. Sure. So it uh, you know it, it was it was it was a fun it was a really fun night and getting to see the fireworks was a, a pleasant surprise because we weren't sure at all. We knew we were close, but he has a a, a neighbor who's got a, a, a taller <laughs> house. Yeah. And yeah. It, it tends to block most of the view of. Uh, in, out into the valley. Okay, so earlier that day, Jake relayed the story to me about his neighbor that came over. Oh, yeah. So, so Jake, <laughs> I remember hearing the story. Jake hadn't actually had a 4th uh, a, uh, of July at this house yet. Right. So he asked his neighbor, uh, who was walking across the street, like towards his house, he said, um, hey, can you see fireworks uh, from like he, this neighborhood? She's like, oh, no, no, you cannot see fireworks. No. I'm like, oh, that's too bad. You know, like I thought because... You know, there's, there's fireworks just like a block away. Like it's really probably like a block over and like five blocks down. Now, 
is this the same neighbor that had the issue yeah. with the roof? Yeah. Okay. So she's coming over to my house, and she's to carrying Jake's this, house. this uh, to Jake's house. That's right. Right. Uh, she's carrying this bag in her hand, and she kind of shakes it. It looks like there's some um, whoppers in it or something. There's you know, something like some in chocolate it. candies or something. Right. So she says to me, um, oh, my neighbor, my, my husband's very mad today. He make me bring over this bag of poop. Your kid has been pooping on my roof, and um, he wanted me to show you how much it is. And I'm like, whoa, like uh. That's a lot of poop for some kitties. Yeah. And what a, what a dick to like, um, hey, I can just imagine what, what's going on in our house. Like, um, hey, uh, go grab a bag of poop and uh, walk it over toward the neighbors across the street and make them see just how much it is. Right. It's a, there was no preemptive like, hey, I just want to let no. you know, I think your cats are taking a dump on our. Uh, uh, okay, I'll, con- I'll confess. No, Jake, not Jake will confess. A couple of months ago, they came up to me and they said, hey, I think your cats are pooping in, um, okay. on my roof. And I, I kind of forgot. Okay, but that was a couple months ago. You hadn't heard anything since. In re- he hadn't heard anything since in regards to that, correct? Not that he remember. Okay. That being the case, then, is like, if they had continued to enlighten you yes. the, or him, then this could have been something good. But to have the woman come over with a bag of the poop to show you that it's happening. Instead of My a second, like, hey. very we- mad. He's a, he's a bring over this bag of poop. And I was like, holy shit. Yeah. I, I can't I, I can tell you how many times I've said that. Well. I, I will say this. I, I guess your cats just in, uh, enjoy the view from the rooftop when they have to take a shit. I don't think it's. I don't think it's Jake's cats. No, I think it's raccoons or a homeless man. You think it's a homeless man who's getting up on their roof and, and taking a dump? Very it makes more sense than my wonderful kitties. Right. They would never the, do that. The, the raccoons do totally make sense. I will totally give you credit Jake's for that. Jake's cats are angels. Yeah, angel. Anybody who doubts that is going to. Um, Liberal Jew run media hell. Okay, that's a fact. Well, they are not. They are absolutely wonderful little kitties, and uh, yeah, they're the best ever. So there's no way that they're they're making. Oh, my husband, he very mad. Yep. He make me bring over this bag of poop. One of the funniest parts of the night was uh, the cats were were put away, of course, because of the fireworks that were going to be going off in the neighborhood. And I did not <coughs> want them to poop on the roof. Right, and uh, so. They were they for the for the most part they sat in the window just looking out pining to be able to get out where everybody else was, and then once and then once those fireworks got started, yes, but once those fireworks got started, there were a couple of those big booms and we all looked over and those cats were gone. Yeah, the, there was no cat in the window for hours. What, uh, did you happen to find perhaps a little mess area that it might have, they might have gotten scared so much no, they no, pooped no, in there? Man. Honestly, dude, my cats are very controlled with their poop. I have this um, just a house across the street that I've trained them to shit on the roof. And <laughs> yes. they, they really uh, basically only go there. Well, good. So, uh, my husband, he's he's very mad. He he make me bring over this bag of poop. I feel terrible for that lady. What a terrible fucking existence that must be. Mm-hmm. That like, hey, uh, go go go, bring a bag of shit across the street to our neighbors and show them. Uh, I mean, what we got? My my question to you is: Would you ask your wife? To be no. the one to Never. bring that gift of, the, of a bag full of poop Never. to the neighbor that, if you, let's say you have a neighbor whose dog shitting in your yard. Okay, so he, here's how it would happen: if my wife ended up bringing over a bag of shit to my neighbor's house to, like, uh, you know, say, "Hey, yeah. your animal's shitting in my place," it's because I have gathered up this bag of shit. And I'm fucking mad. Ah. I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna teach those motherfuckers a lesson. Okay. Okay, so she's actually the peacemaker. I thought if if if, if she was the one actually taking it over, you've oh, already, no, no, no. You've I already said this, something. I don't know if this lady's a peacemaker. I'm saying that Cheryl no, no. would be the yeah, peacemaker. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Cheryl would be the peacemaker in this, uh, in the sense that uh, I was thinking that she was the badass at the very end where after you've gone over once and complained, she's no. the one that you send in going, okay, no, uh, you no. already talked to him, Jake. Now it's my turn to talk to no, him. No, my <laughs> husband, he's very mad. Yeah. And uh, he making me bring over this bag of poop. <laughs> Awful. So, anyways, I went out and I ordered a, a kitty uh, cyber thing, or it, like, it makes a sonic sound. Okay. So you just set it there, and anytime an uh, animal gets in that area, and it goes to like, you can actually <laughs> sense when they're about to take a dump. Yeah, like you don't know this, but like when you poop, your your skin temperature raises 15 degrees instantly. So you actually, he's actually bought this sensor to go on this guy's roof to keep to. Jake has bought this thing to go on this. And so then it makes a sound to scare them off. Yeah, and it goes, but only in like supersonic sounds that the human ear can't hear. Only that they can hear, okay. 
<coughs> so we're hoping that works. So we it's hope. the opposite of the brown note. It's the anti-brown note. We don't want yeah. your shit in here note. Yeah, the clear note. Yes. Yes. The um, somewhere else note. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> take that shit someplace else. Speaking of somewhere else's and stuff, you know, on the other side of this break, we're going to go somewhere else, man. All right. We're going to go into the wonderful world of unboxing. You guys know what unboxing is? Well, uh, you're going to learn on the other side. See, yeah, let's take the shot here in the middle. These boxes here, these are all like uh, uh, things that you pay for every month. So you see there's like a wrestling crate and a pro wrestling crate and a powered geek box and uh, some other little things. So we'll get into what this stuff is and uh, why people are watching so many of these videos on like YouTube and otherwise. So we'll come back on the other side and we'll do some of that. And as always, we do our uh, holidays because it's... Uh, the beginning of a brand new month, so we have a whole bunch of uh, shenanigans to cover here in July. And uh, possible Jake Belcher and Brant Thoman will be back on the other side of this. And I'm Nicole, and we're the ladies of Suicide, Suicide Girls, Girls Radio, Radio, the world's leading BYOB radio show. Pour a glass of your favorite tipple and tune in on Wednesday nights between 8 and 9 p.m. as we discuss life, liberty, and the pursuit of free nipples. I just flash it would be kind of funny, wouldn't it? People think flashing your tits is easy, right? And it's actually kind of hard. I'm Money B, and you can kiss my ass. Let me swallow my snot. <laughs> that's, that's sexy. Keep up the good work, mild net. Ne- oh! <laughs> <laughs> Let me see how I'm gonna come and check out. No, I love you. Oh, yeah, what? No cyclocyanabin. <laughs> <laughs> Do you take one? There you go. Always switching oh. up. What's that? My wedding band jumped out of my. Oh my god, I hope it's on Omen. Call my wife. He keeps moving away. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rob Schneider, and you're watching T Hollywood V. Z Hollywood T. Z! Dang! I'm not gonna bang. I'm not gonna bang. Nailed it. Oh boy, man, I think I really messed everything up. Kinda. How you doing? Oh, I'm good, man. Sorry, I was busy. Uh, what you, what you playing, man? I wasn't playing anything. Actually, I was trying to get something out on Facebook to oh, yeah? get people to 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 tune in, to tune in and to perhaps play turn the game. On, so uh, get all ready in the pants. Like, ah, let's party time! Yeah, so that's what we do. We get them all ready in the pants. We get them all ready in the pants. I like nice. the white shot of us, man. So do I. You know, it makes uh, it makes me when I suck my gut in. <laughs> Make me look all thin and stuff. Well, I'm glad you could join us. On what? On the show. Oh. Because you are Jake Belcher now, aren't you? I came back for this one segment. Right. Because I was going to open up some gifts here, and uh, I wanted to make sure that uh, that other guy didn't get the, the joy of opening these uh, crates. Okay, sure. so, so what are these crates? These crates. These uh, crates are um, something that people are watching all over uh, you know, YouTube. And they're advertised on Facebook like crazy. I yeah. see them everywhere. But uh, they're they're boxes of where you, you you put it. You pitch in a certain amount of money, and you're going to get uh, more than that's values worth right. of of just different things, leftover stuff or or promotional things. Always brand new things. Well, I mean, it could be. Some I mean, I'm saying left, left, leftover in the sense that they were new for like um, <laughs> you put up that video on 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 YouTube a couple of weeks ago of, of the first one that you got you opened up, and there were some things on there that you were like, oh, this is kind of really, like, like the, the Terminator Two. 
I thought about Tim bringing Bay. that in today to show, show right. as an example, but more recently I talked about this other one that I got right. last week that I hated so much I couldn't even put up the video. So th- that Terminator thing was brand new, yes. but it was left over from the run of the Terminator 2 stuff that was put out, I'm thinking. You think that was made 25 years ago? No, no, I believe it was made more recently, but they had such an overstock that they're like, well, we got to get rid of these somehow, and they're offering us this much money for a shit ton of them. We accidentally we'll take ordered uh, 10,000 of these or right. something. Right, exactly, and we only wanted a 1,000. So we have 10,000, so we can just throw them in this nifty little box. So I'll give you guys an example. This one I've already done in video for. I hated it. I'll show you what's in it. Oh, no. Things are falling out all over the place. Generally, what you get in one of these things is like uh, some some little toys and stuff. So on this one, you got like an air freshener. Uh, you got a... Uh, a mixtape from Spotify of a whole bunch of tracks that you now own. That's exciting. That's, that's kind of cool. Yeah, some pins. Uh, some dude love glasses. Some, some dude love glasses. That's what they say on the side of it. Totally not the gayest glasses I own, even may, though they say dude love on them. May I take a closer them. look at that? Sure, sure, man. You can even uh, you should even try those on. See how they uh, fit your summer persona. Whoa, dude, the fucking down the street, yeah. I'm gonna have to check check out this episode later and, and see, see how you look at them. See how I look at them. Sure. So. Or we could just find a a, uh, a mirror in the bathroom afterwards. Sure, sure. sure. I got that as well. But. And then it came with this other shirt here, and the shirt says, uh, "Dudes love Shaq." Oh, have mercy on my butthole. That is that's the worst wrestling T-shirt I think I've ever seen. Yeah, it's fucking terrible, right? It is. It, it, it's it's really just a it's some shit. So when I did this video, I was super mad, you know? I'm like, uh, I, I was really mad at the end of it. I decided not to put it up because I like the wrestler, and I didn't want to shit all over him, you know? So uh, I just brought it as, that as an example. Here's what we got. We got two brand new crates. I cut the tape on them before I came in because I didn't want to have to find any. Right, of course. When I came in. We, but we, they are, they, aside of that, they are completely unopened. They are, they are unsealed. But not, but unopened. Great. I, I have not looked inside them at all. Uh, and Brent, we dropped this in the other box. Yes, absolutely. This was another thing in there. It was a lapel pin. A, uh, I'm going to put it up on this camera. Yeah, so it was a... Uh, Pull it back a bit. There you go. Lapel, yeah! Is that is that Sako? Yeah, that's the Sako lapel. So since we're on wrestling, let's do this other wrestle crate. So what people do is they go on there and they go, All right. I know you guys are excited. You poor motherfuckers who can't afford $20 yourselves. Right. You, you're willing to waste six minutes of your life to watch me see what is coming into my life and not yours. What's the most expensive one you've seen advertised so this far? This is actually the most expensive box here, so I'll save that one for last. Right. How, um, uh, how much How much is this one running? Uh, that one to me is like twenty four ninety nine. dollars So $25 what, uh, bucks there and 20 bucks for this one. Yeah. But you're getting, they say you're you're going to get, what, about $150 worth? No, of, no, 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 no. How, no. How much is it valued at? I, I think they promised like twice the value. So okay, like so you're getting 40 to 55 40 to 50 dollars worth of product and hopefully in like something that you'd like yeah so i have no idea what's in this box i love wrestling this is like the easiest purchase of the uh, month for me um i'm gonna see oh, what do i get in here and what am i pulling out who knows okay well i guess it's the shirt first it's totally pink so i'm totally gonna wear that a lot aren't i oh uh, yeah who doesn't see me wearing a lot of pink shirts God, hey, now now you have a reason to go out and get yourself a really nice pink bandana. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, so okay, I'll, here do we okay, go. So I, I don't know what it is. You read to me what it says on here. Okay. Let me know if I'm going to like this or not. Uh, let's see. The summer of 92, Canada's champion versus the great British challenger, live from London, England, on August 25th, 1992. So it's a Bret Hart versus Davey Boy Smith. That's at, exact. At, that at is exact. With no faces. Yeah, they can't. They, they since they kind of rip these people off, they can't actually put their faces on. They can draw like distinctive things about their career and stuff. So yeah. it's just an outline of these guys without their faces. In yeah. It. So, okay. So apparently, I, I now am the proud owner of a Davy Boy Smith and a Bret Hart shirt. Now, what size is it? Did they get you the right size? Because remember, the la- in your last in this in this one, you said the the shirt was definitely too way too small. It is way too small. This one looks like it might be it big is. enough. Yeah, that's a double X. Okay, so you got the size right, people. Congratulations. Let's they see heard you after the last time. Let's see what else we, we, we get out of this box. We okay. get uh, a, a lanyard for your, your keys. King of, what does this say? This says King of IWC style. IWC? I'm going to go with, if that's dude love, this must be, I want cock. Probably. I have no idea what IWC is. And International I'm Wrestling Chickens? See, I don't know club. Dude, I don't, I don't even know, man. And I know, and I, I know wrestling. You do know wrestling, exactly. Know wrestling. You, you, you are the go-to guy on that. That means zero to zilch to me. Let's see what we got here. This okay. Feels like a DVD, possibly. Sure. That's okay. 
Ring of Honor Global Wars. Okay, actually, I do kind of want to see this. Okay. This is a, a good thing. Yay, I'll watch this. This is like the first thing I've gotten in one of these boxes that I actually want to see and have in my life. So, All right, okay. So that's nice. It has uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, so that's good. I'm excited at that. One good thing out of that box. That's, that's sure. Bad. The main event is Roe versus Bullet Club, uh, the 10-man tag team match. Jesus Christ, that's got to be. That's Probably a long-ass match. It's not Roe versus Wade? Um, not that I'm seeing. Well, I should, they should settle that in a wrestling ring next time. The Supreme <laughs> Court is no good place for that. Uh, oh, I got myself a... Um, this is a mouse pad. A mouse pad. Who doesn't use mouth mouse pads anymore? The original monthly box wrestling goodies mouse pad. So they're advertising for themselves. themselves. The- I already buy your thing. This this item is worth zero. Yes. Um, Brett, actually, throw this in the garbage for me. Sure. I do not want that at oh, all. Oh, jeez, this is weak. Very this super is the, light this shit. This is the the weakest mouse pad I think I've ever seen. Sure, sure. And who needs that anymore? Like mouse pads, um, like they had tracking balls on them and stuff. Now they're all opticalized, and there's an actual reason for it. Yeah, yeah. You're garbage. Die. Like, uh, done and done. Yeah, man. That's almost as bad as the other thing in there. Because so there's two items up in here. feels like a toy and an autograph. Okay. Uh, let's see who the autograph is this month. Johnny Gargano. Do you know who Johnny Gargano is? You know, I do. Um, but it's not that impressive anyways. Okay. I, I, mean, honestly, I don't recognize him. Honestly, the whole idea of getting like an autograph from somebody that you didn't actually meet to get it from is like, worthless. I don't give a shit about that. Are you, have you ever been excited? Like, hey, if someone came walked in the stream right now and said, "Hey, Brent, here is an autograph from Mr. T." Yeah. <laughs> would you? What would, would you be excited? Well, I mean, if it's an autographed photo, I'd be. I don't know if I'd be excited, but like, I'd be pleasantly surprised that that something like that would would pop up. Sure. I mean, I understand people wanting to collect signatures of famous people who are no longer alive, and and if and you, this if, guy may die, this, he may he, die. He's a great industry ex- to die. Exactly. Is he a wrestler for the WWE, or is this kind of? Kind yeah, of. he's kind of in this mid ground now where so he's, he's kind of moving himself up yeah, eventually. Yeah, so hopefully it'll work out. You know, last hey. month was uh, Joey Ryan, and that was good. Oh yeah, that this is nice. Not that great. Last item in here. I think this feels like it's a toy. What do we got? Oh, it's a pop vinyl. It, oh my god! Careful, you're gonna fold your. Uh, uh, I your, see that. Okay. It's, it's a Roman Reigns, like my most hated wrestler on, on the entire in the entire fucking federation. Thanks. If, if I was like a 12-year-old che- boy. The cheater, right? He is now out on a drug offense. Yes. yes. He's been suspended. Suspended for 30 days so that, uh, with one and day to spare before the next pay-per-view. People hate this fucking guy. Yep. He, he just, um, he sucks, man. He sucks. So this box, this box also sucks. Uh, speaking of things that suck, I see our signal is uh, bouncing all over the place. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, okay, so in that one, hey, one item that I kind of like. You right, know, you got the this shirt DVD? I'm never going to wear. Right. You, you know where that shirt's going to happen? It was going to be that shirt. A picture of it's going to get taken and it's going to get sold on the eBay. There you go. Or if you answer that question that I posted up on my Facebook, there you, go. you can uh, win that shirt. You have to go back and watch the last segment, though. Right. I'm not even going to say what the question was. you got to go there and find the question. Jake Belcher, Facebook. Oh, yep, and I'm gonna be I'm I'm posting it up. Uh, I'm gonna be posting that same question up online uh, in just a minute. And you can so win we'll that shirt, or maybe that. you like Roman Reigns and you prefer the Roman Reigns. Sure. Toy. Or hey, if you, need, if you need a neck uh, key holder that says uh, King <laughs> IWC Styles, you want that instead? The King of I Want Cock Style. That's right. Wow, we are generous. We are super super generous. Yes. All right, we got one more box to get through on this segment because. In this segment? Yeah. Well, what time is it? We're about almost. Uh, do you guys are we going to break right now? We'll come back on the other side. And we'll do it. Okay, one, one, more, one more minute. Okay, so here's what we'll do. Uh, this is an extra thing that I got from um, Loot Crate because they effed me last month. Oh, okay. And they're not so, going to see. Hopefully, if uh, this is a replacement. All right. It is so, an acceptable replacement. I hope. Uh, it seems to be. Let's see how it looks. Okay. Oh, not bad. That's actually a pretty pretty good cool looking shirt, man. Pretty dope. So yeah. this was the first clothing item that I liked from these things. Um, okay, so remember you were with me when I opened this one last month, and right. I got that really cool um, Space Invaders. Yes, um, yes, like Space. In- mm-hmm. uh, that thing was pretty cool. Yeah, that is, and this one's really cool. It looked great sleeveless. Yeah. So yes, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll cut them sleeves right off, baby. Yep. And uh, so Robocop will take us to the break, and uh, we'll come back to the other side. We'll talk about this powered geek box, and then we'll jump into our holidays. Sure. So um, Looking forward to it. Yeah, you guys got about two minutes to squeeze one out, because be done by, by the other side of the commercial break. I don't want to have to make eye contact with you when you're still doing it. I mean, that's yucko. Two minutes, guys. God damn it. from 
Lady Pants, and you're watching the top 10 women who are killing it in comedy. Let's do number four. Tegan and Sarah. Speaking of musicians, adora talented Canadian twinsies Tegan and Sarah are quietly killing it all over the place. On Snapchat, in the recording studio, and on the awards circuit. They've got a Grammy nom under their belt as well as major commercial success. And while they're not technically comedians, this indie dance duo is friggin' hilarious on social media. And they are worth a follow just for their weird homemade cat videos. The list doesn't stop here. Watch the next video. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Hi, I'm Rob Schneider. Hey guys, what's up? This is Matt McAndrew. Hey everyone, I'm Tyler Oakley. And I'm Corey Cool. Hi, I'm Martha Madison. This is Slink Johnson, AKA Black Jesus, BKA Godzilla Lungs. Hello, I'm Eric Roberts. Yeah, what's up? This is Craig Wayans. Hi, this is Brad Williams. And as you can tell, I have never gotten high. Dang! <laughs> Speedy Don. And I am the fabulous Stevie King. What's good? It's your boy Marcus Falk, man. We keeping it lit. I'm Money B. Hey, I'm John Sally. What's up, y'all? This is Crazy Bone in the building. It's your girl, Shantae Wayans. It's your favorite DJ, DJ Spark. And it's your boy, Street Symphony. And you're watching Z. Z. Z Hollywood TV. TV, the name that will stand the test of time. Grand Theft Audio Radio, this is Jake Belcher. And I'm Brant Thoman. And we're back into uh, more things to make my life better, to make right. me feel like more of a complete person. Everything like in this box is meant to make my life whole at only $25 a month. Okay, now, have you have you gotten one of these, uh, these actual Power Geek uh, yes. boxes before? Yeah. Have you been? Were you pleased with the first one? Mm, no. Was this the one with the T two? Uh, no, that was the loot crate. That was the actual loot crate. Okay. Yeah, so these are all the July versions of the new boxes. So like these all showed at the beginning of the month. I actually have a couple of more July boxes to show up. Um, I still have. Well, have you gotten the? Did actually, you sign still, up for the grooming one that has like the razors no, and the and the no, men's? No, I'm fine right? with that. Who? I mean. No, I'm just wondering. Just didn't know what which ones el what else you might have signed up for. I know there's just hey, look, there's I'm so not many Jake, different. But potential Jake is fine with having all his razors and uh, soaps like bought at Target. Sure, he's cool with it. He's found things that work for him. He smells delicious always, and um, you know he knows what's worth, what, what's got what he's got going. I got for a man his size. Smells superb. If you were a wrestler, your gimmick would be the tearing off of the t-shirt sleeves. You'd, you'd make them tear away. Ah! Yep, you'd get in there like, this just I isn't but, right. Uh, potential Jake would. Ah! Or you'd have yourself a good manager, a good-looking manager, who would pull them off for you. Good-looking you, you, you manager. Your, yeah, a nice, a nice little uh, diva to sit there and just rip sure. them right off. That'd be pretty sick. Yeah, I think I'd be down for that, man. Yeah. I think I would be down for that. All right. Power Geek Box. Here it is, man. This is... The July version of it, and we're gonna see um, what we got going on. This one, twenty-five dollars. Twenty-five. Now, is there a minimum number of months you have to sign up for? Or is it just you? You get it for less as you get more of them. So this was this actually, I think, box is usually like thirty bucks, but since like uh, it's a six-month subscription, it's like five bucks off a month. That's not bad. It's not that bad. You're you're basically getting uh, one of them free. <coughs> yeah, that's right. And who doesn't love free things? Let's see what we got in this first okay. box. All right. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna try. Okay, I feel there's a toy. I feel there's a uh, a shirt. I feel there's um. I'm gonna take something just from here. Oh, this feels like a probably a uh, pretty big item too. Let's see what it is. It is a Spider-Man collectible diorama. Are you a big Spider-Man fan? Do you like getting random Spider-Man things thrown into your life? You may want to have a Power Geek Box because you too could have. A collectible diorama of Spider-Man. Collectible diorama of Spider-Man. Oh. So. I just kind of saw what the next thing was. Uh-oh. So I'll, I'll take it okay. out. Okay. It is a, another pop. This one is a guy named Slimmer. 
Like he's on a diet from the Ghostbusters. Slimmer. Is that from the first one or the new one? Can you tell? Does it say? Well, it has boy Ghostbusters around him. So it must be from the originals. So it must be from the originals, yeah. Because now it's girl go girl Ghostbusters. Yes. Boys don't know how to g- bust ghosts anymore. Not no more. Uh, if you if you see something strange in the neighborhood, who are you going to call? It won't be a boy Ghostbuster because nope. that shit is sexist and somewhat racist. He certainly looks like he's in a good mood. Yeah, that's a happy little slimer, that's man. That's actually kind of a cool... I mean, of the, it's of, okay. of the toys we've seen so far, it's yes. the best. Yeah, that's right. That's way better than the Roman Reigns thing I just got oh, pulled yeah. out of that last box, yeah. you know? Ugh. Talk about a box of turd. Talk about shit, <laughs> shit, shit. Okay, here's a little package thing. Ooh. It is called a Ghostbuster... My emoji. So it's like a little um, emoji toy from a Ghostbuster. Oh, let's see which one's in here, man. Okay. Let's see what we got. We got chick with the glasses whose name I don't know. Not yet. Yeah, I don't know it yet, but I'll probably see this movie, right? Honestly, why didn't this movie come out this last weekend for 4th of July? It would have made a killing. Like, Who went out to see anything uh, new that came out this weekend? Nobody, really. Dory killed it again. Hot garbage, so... Winky glasses, Ghostbuster head. Winky that's glasses, all it is. It's not even a keychain. No, no, that's all it is, man. It's just um. Do you like head? Wow, that's almost as bad as the Roman Reigns thing. Yeah, yeah. When you look at it like that, it is. Mm. Uh, here we go. Uh, feels Ooh. like a spi- a spirally notebook. A spirally notebook. Yes, with all your favorite DC Justice superheroes. League. The Justice League. There. It has everyone from. That guy to the other guy. And that girl's in front. To the one who likes to show his dong off, the Flash. To, uh, I'm Superman and this is what I've come to. Now I live on a pad. Um, okay, <laughs> does it have anything good going on? Um, oh, very nice. Are they it postcards? Has, no, no, they're just... um. You know, pieces of crap. Oh, but paper. they they have something at the bottom that are they're Yeah, apparently in this picture, I'll try to show it up on here. You got um, you got, you can't see that right. You got Wonder Woman fighting the waves. The waves and Superman. He's he's, he's also fighting the waves. Oh, I didn't see him up there. I only saw Wonder Woman. Yeah, man. So you know they're they're taking on like all the world's problems for us in picture form inside of this, and ugh, you can't bring yourself to want that super bad. And that's pretty nice. Do we have anything else in this box besides the shirt? Yes, we do. Oh, it feels like it's a, uh, yeah, this is a Pez, right? Oh, it's, it's Batman Pez. He's, you can't see his face because he's backwards in the bag, but I assure you, he's Batman. Yep. Yeah, he's Batman. Last thing in here, it's the shirt. The shirt is uh, what this line is particularly known for. They're supposed to be good. So okay. See, you know, uh, I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. I will hold it up. You can read it to me and tell me if it's something that I will like or not. Trek yourself before you wreck yourself. It <clears> is. <throat> it is. Mis- it is uh, Mr. Spock. Yeah. With the Vulcan hands. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I don't think you would wear it. No, no, it doesn't sound like something I'd wear. Not at all. <laughs> Looking at the screen, I'm not sure that I'd wear it. Um, but hey, uh, I got another shirt, man. Better trek yourself before you wreck yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I'm not sure what to think about this shirt. It seems, uh, it seems like something uh, that the people on uh, the Big Bang Theory would, the, would, would, would Absolutely. Wear? It totally is a Big Bang Theory one. Yeah. Uh, it, it'd be the type of... You know what? If you were going to Comic-Con... Yeah. Or Which I'm to, not going to do. Or if you were going or to like... Fake uh, Jake uh, is not going to do. Or the, uh, the, the, the Star Trek uh, uh, convention that they have in yeah. Pasadena every year yeah. that's huge. Yeah. That you, you, that's like the one time you might wear that shirt. I feel like um, it's a good trick a young man into a van shirt. Like, hey, uh, I, I'm driving around and I can't find my, 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 my cat. Will you get in the car with me and help me um, find my cat? Yeah. If you hear a story on the news about a guy who's wearing this shirt and picking up um, children, I assure you. So there's no superhero autograph inside? No Batman Oh, I don't know. Is there anything else? I don't know. Oh, yeah, there's a couple of pins. Oh, All right. see, there we go. A couple of buttons. I didn't, I didn't expect a couple of buttons. Hey, while we're talking about buttons. For 25 bucks, you haven't really gotten, uh, with what you've got compared to the other boxes, I was like, there's got to be a few more things in there. So this we got a feels like, okay, okay, look, 
let's try to add up some prices sure. in a second here. But first of all, let's talk about buttons real quick. I'm wearing this button that says No Sundays. I'm a member of the Tournament of Roses. We throw the Rose Parade and the Rose Bowl game, letting you know that it's not on the first this year like usual. Because it lands on a Sunday. And we have a deal with God. We uh, don't have a uh, you know parade on Sunday, and he gives us perfect weather every year. Yes. Uh, here, we, here we go, these buttons. I got um, a Robin the Boy Wonder. Robin him of his virginity. Right. And a... Tom and Jerry. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Okay, so let's add up the value on this. Sure. What do you think this is worth? 50, cent, uh, 50 cents to a buck a piece. Okay, a dollar. Let, let, let's be generous as we can. Okay. Ish. 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 Okay, so that's $2 in buttons. $2 in buttons. This shirt. What do you think this shirt, this, uh, For, uh, shirt is worth? Uh, target, it would be fourteen ninety nine. Fourteen ninety nine. Before sale, when it hit cl- hits clearance, it'd be about five to six bucks. So, okay, so we'll we're, sp- we're seventeen bucks. Seventeen, 17 bucks. Seventeen bucks. We got uh, a Pez. Two dollars. Two dollars. So nineteen dollars. We got a uh, this picture uh, book. Does it have a price on the back of it? Because it looks like <laughs> there's a barcode. Yeah, I bet we could scan this and find it out. It's a. Uh, it, no. Uh, I would say because it's gimmicky and, and, and it's uh, it'd be the type of thing that you'd find at a... It's a dollar, right? N- maybe. I, I'd say two bucks. Because, oh, yeah? Well, I mean, it's, okay, got, 21 the, bucks. it's got the nice nice paper inside with, with sure. the, uh, the the picture on it. So. Sure. Um, some Ghostbuster head. Dollar. Dollar. No, uh, but they'd sell for more. But yeah, I bet uh, this sells for $4. Yeah, it probably does for four bucks for that. Yeah. Okay, so 25 25 bucks. So we're, we're right now this is break even. Right. So all of this stuff here is... The profit. Right. All right. So the Spider-Man diorama. Yeah. Uh, which of the ones that they show on the back, because they got Deadpool, Iron Man, Thor, Hulk, Captain America, and Venom. All those guys? All of them. Spider-Man is the weakest looking of the bunch. Yeah. Um, that would be, I'm guessing, probably seven ninety nine to nine ninety nine, okay. Somewhere in that range. So let's uh, say, let's say $8. $9. Nine, well, $8. Okay, $8. Bucks. Okay, so eight bucks. Uh, $33. And then this the thing. Slimer. What do you, I don't know what these pop vinyls usually go for. I'm I guessing think they go 15 12 to 20. To 15. Okay. Yeah. So the more the more 15. rare one the more rare ones would go for more, but I'm yeah. guessing that Slimer is not that rare if he's in one of these boxes. That's probably true, man. Uh, so probably one of the lesser picked up so ones. So uh, fifth let's call it uh 14 14 dollars. Okay, so we were at um, we were at 25 break even with those two, so we're talking 8 and uh, 14, so 22 dollars more, almost double your value. So yeah, it could be worse, you know. Could yeah. be worse. Um, I, I I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything with any of these, man. There's not a single thing that you. you I don't think so. Okay. I mean, you? I mean, I what? don't think so. Not in, not in that one. I mean, Ugh. the spiral notebook is nice. Uh, the trek uh, yourself before you wreck yourself. No, thank you. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'll say? This, okay, this uh, how do they make, make Spock look even nerdier than normal? How do they do that? No kidding. Because they're trying to make him look gangsta, and when looks, a nerdy ca- like character Sheldon. tries to tries to look gangsta, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It does not work. You know what? I, I will say this: it does potentially lend itself for being great for like gifts or stocking stuffers mm-hmm. if you have nephews or nieces or kids of your own. Mm-hmm. So I mean, there sure, is the potential sure. value in the but future. But honestly, for that. like, the, the, I, I, uh, dude, you've got some great gag gifts for any holiday parties you got coming up in a couple months. But you have months of these coming. Yeah, I know. So I, know. I mean, more than you need. I know. So. Uh, I'm gonna sp- be spending a lot of time selling this crap on eBay. Yeah, yeah, that's what we got going on. Hey, we're gonna come back on the other side, and we're gonna start touching on the holidays for this month because there are a couple of fun ones I want to get into. Indeed, um, some things to show appreciation for, and some um, you know knowledge that you can only get here on uh, Grand Theft Audio on Zeno.tv. The name that will stand the test of time. A fucking time. from Lady Pants, you are watching the top 10 women who are killing it in comedy. Let's do number five. Tig Notaro. Okay, so Tig is a les who is happily out, who has survived cancer and doesn't rely on any tricks to get you to laugh. She's just funny. Everything about her is funny. And she's a cancer survivor, but she almost didn't survive. She was like really sick, but she's okay. And she made a movie about it and it is beautiful and touching. And she's a real human being. And she loves her wife, Stephanie Allen. And she somehow survived not only cancer, but being from the South. And she was a high school dropout and she was cast off by her parents for being gay, but she still managed to figure out how to be herself and have a happy life. And the fact that she is so open and honest in her comedy has really carved a pathway for younger lesbians and comedians alike. You know you want to see who else we like. Watch the next video. Hi, I'm 
Hanny from Lady Pants, and you're watching the top 10 women who are killing it in comedy. Here's numero six. Alana Glazer and Abby Jacobson. They're 28, and they are unafraid to show their fat rolls and their pubes and talk about masturbating and dildos in a way that is absolutely not for men. Right in the butt. It's for women, and it's hilarious. They are the American dream of comedy. They flitted around UCB in New York, decided to make a web series. That web series became wildly popular, caught the attention of Amy Poehler and Comedy Central, and voila! They're now in the middle of their third season executive producing, writing, and starring in Broad City, the best female buddy comedy to have graced the tiny silver screen. We predict movie deals and many more amazing things for them in the immediate future. Here comes number seven. She's got going on, but top ten. Dude, I've been digging these six. commercials that they've been running here. Yeah, me too. Abby Jacobson and Alana Glasser. You know who they are? Not at all. Yeah, I guess neither uh, of the Broad City chicks. I don't know, man. Um, but uh, it's a good show. Are they the chicks who wrote write that show, Broads? Broads? Isn't that isn't that the name of a show? I think it's called Broads. Broads. B B R O A D S. I thought ladies didn't like the term broads anymore. No, no, they're totally down with it. Man. All right, like, um, Broads. That chicks, dolls. Yeah. Um, but basically, any type of like shortened version for like a group of ladies could be turned into a, uh, a TV show now. Okay. I'm, I'm fairly certain that's true. Right on. That's good to know. It's a quality. I mean, there's been so many shows like. Um, Hell yeah. Dudekins and um, Brohambers and um, I mean, a lot of those types of uh, yeah. things, you know. Well, once uh, these get over, once these are over. Sure, I think we'll come back on, on the other side. Yeah, and, um, start up the holidays. So everything will be uh, just. Um, Hooray! It's July what? 2016. Oh, what is this? Were we on this whole time? Oh shit! <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. We got too tuned into the t to the computer and not to. Hey, there I am. There's wow. some brand. There You're looking good, man. Oh no, oh. I think I just pulled the power out. You just pulled the power out of that entire oh, idea. Yeah, I guess. How, how did I do that? And then I fucked it up. And I thought we were on real time with that one. Yeah. Guess not. Real time with Bill Maher? No, no. I thought we were like streaming live and we were like watching all that. I had no idea we were running at all. So at home, man, apparently everyone's living about 30 seconds behind our, uh, you know, reality. And, and stuff. now we're 30 seconds behind. No, we're ahead. Like we're living in the future, you you past oh, motherfuckers. I see, I see. Yeah, they, they they are right now in, in they our They don't even know that like. Um, we were watching our past and we are currently in that future, in that Streaming. Uh, I know, man. Okay. It's, it's this weird. It's this whole. Me. It's this my, whole my bizarre hurting. thing, man. I'm not sure, like, how this whole thing. Like, there's me, um, before the the monitor went out. Yeah. So, like, I bet the monitor's gonna go out on here, and it's gonna be terrible. So, let's see how this goes, man. See, there's us coming back, and there's there me, um, watching myself. That's pretty cool. This is where we like realize that. that we're. That's pretty neat. We're on the air. Yeah. Um, I think that's probably true. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Okay. I look, oh, and then I, I knocked it out. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is so strange to watch her own past. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty weird, right? I keep uh, thinking I'm actually watching myself live as it keeps cutting to me, and, yeah. but it's not me. I mean, it's you. Yeah. It's you and stuff. But, but I mean, it, it's me from the past. Yeah. Now. And here we are again, you know? Yeah. It's, um, this is, oh, man, remember how terrible I felt at this point when I knocked the monitors out? Yep. And I was like, oh, what's going to happen? Maybe, like, the whole world will... Start tearing apart of the seams. Do you remember if I got it back together again? I think you did. I guess I had to. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to be doing this right now, right? Exactly. Damn, the whole thing's just um, great. I don't know why be. Yep, there we go. Smaller version <clears throat> of myself by myself. Which would probably show a smaller version of ourselves in the sm in the corner <laughs> of it. Yeah. I mean, it's just an infinity shot heading off yeah. into the corner yeah. of us watching ourselves in multiple past. Yeah. So we are in the future. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So when that comes up on the screen, we'll know how far behind we are, okay? Right. So it's like three seconds. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I, I don't want to count that whole time because numbers are hard. Yeah. You guys can, like, make up your own numbers. You're probably at about uh, 12 or so right now. That's what I'm going to guess. You're at 12. Coming up on 20, it seems like. 20? 
Yeah. That, was, that was eight right there? Well, in the time you to told everybody they were stuck on 12. I don't know, man. Okay, so we're back on me. So this is the important part. Right. This is probably about where the nya 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 part should be coming up in just a second. Yeah, I think so, man. I think so. The only saving so grace. In the, so in their reality, they're still 30 seconds away from getting to this point. That's right. They don't know how long and by, it's going to take. Beyond that, there's a, they're a yeah. minute behind yeah. this point. So yeah. every single one of those little screens in which we were being is another shown, 30 seconds at least. So at least another the 30 past, seconds. You know? So right now we're looking at. Um, Okay, so this, uh, this, that's 30 seconds. There it is. That's 30 seconds. Okay, there we go. He's back again. He's done it. Okay. Now we have time markers, so we can see exactly how far uh, behind our delay is. Sure. I mean, this, was, uh, this was a lot of fun with science and math. <laughs> exactly. A lot, a lot of fun with science and math. But uh, it is the beginning, the first episode of the month, and we need to take on some of the things that we do here on Grand Theft Audio. Oh, uh, we celebrate holidays. Indeed. Yeah, the, Love uh, holidays. Good reason to celebrate every day. Sure, that's right. So uh, there's a whole bunch of things here for July that we're supposed to celebrate. Uh, this is Air Conditioning Appreciation Days. Hell yeah. Oh, God damn air conditioning, man. Although, honestly... I, I would put up with a lot for air conditioning. And we, we had a really spectacular 4th of July weather-wise. Yeah, it it never nice. got too hot. It was just warm enough that... Well, the... no, fuck that day, man. I'm supposed to want air conditioning for this holiday. That holiday ruined it. I mean, I want to appreciate air conditioning. Well, a year and ago, we didn't do nice, that either. pleasant weather doesn't make me want to use it. So that holiday works against us. At least today. Yeah, yeah. Not a fan. Okay. Not a fan. No, plenty of fans, just not an air conditioner. Sure. Do you, do you have the list up? You yeah, I do. You pulling up next? Uh, let's see. Uh, we have uh, Alopecia Month for oh. Women. Oh, Alopecia? Um, for Women. Okay, what is Alopecia? I have no idea, and there's no link to it, so oh. I'm not about to click it. If you had to guess what Alopecia was, what would you go with? Some kind of skin issue. Oh. Oh, sure. What makes me think of it. Sure, I that mean, sounds reasonable. I've, I know I've heard commercials in the background uh, when I've been on my computer and stuff for alopecia treatments, but mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. I don't suffer from it, so I don't know. Well, you're also a man. Yes. And they don't particularly well, want there, your business. I imagine there's an alopecia uh, uh, month for men. Well, I don't know, well. man. You can imagine that, but it's, it doesn't mean that it's true. Uh, let's see. We have also got cell phone courtesy month. Okay, sure. Sure. Um, well, what is something that people do with cell phones that drives you crazy? Uh, drive. With them, yeah, sure. Uh, I see far too many people. I almost saw a kid get hit uh, in a crosswalk today because person was on her cell phone. The light had just turned green. There was no traffic coming, so instead of making sure there was nobody crossing the street, she decided to pull in. And the mom, the kid's mom, literally had to grab him and pull him back in because he'd gotten a couple of steps into the crosswalk because that person was just completely mm -hmm. oblivious to it. Mm -hmm. Then the person was nice enough to actually honk at them, as if I don't know. Yeah, a little, honky. As if, it, was it a thank you for letting me go kind of honk, or was it a it wasn't get that. out of my fucking way honk? It was that, even, cause I'm the People one that, don't honk in happiness. Because I'm in, I'm in the 3,000-pound death machine and can kill your kid if you're not careful. I don't care if you're in a crosswalk with the light. That doesn't sound Bitch. particularly good. No, wasn't. Wasn't good at all. It's also Black Family Appreciation Month. How are you going to celebrate? I don't know. I don't have a black family. I feel bad. I'm going to have to go out and find a black family to adopt. And appreciate them. Well, you can go to blackfamilyappreciation.com, and you can find ways that you can celebrate yourself. Uh, I don't want to lay out the the very obvious ways that one can celebrate it that you in your racist like um, life can't point out for us. But thank you. Sure. Should uh, we do a couple of weeklies? Okay, sure. Uh, let's see. This week starts off uh, on the 3rd. We had Be Nice to New Jersey Week, which goes till uh, the 9th. Um, hey, fuck every state but New Jersey. Right. We got a friend who lives there, so we'll be nice. So we'll to be New nice Jersey. to it, but fuck every state but New Jersey. For this one week. Yeah, that's then, right. Then all the rest of the states should kick they ass. Probably and all fuck are New great, Jersey, but right? New Jersey. Right. Uh, we also have Freedom Week. Well, Freedom Week is, uh, I think, the last thing we're going to get to celebrate. They're, they're kicking us off oh, the Oh, man, you're right. We've run out of time. At Zinna.tv, the name that will stand the test of time. Next week, we have No Brandt. Nope. Special assignment next week. Yeah, man. He's going to be off doing something fun. Um, in some way, I'm going to wish I was with him. But in every other way, I'm going to be glad I'm with you. Uh, also, uh, Leah Kanauer is coming back next week. Uh, we also have Brian Scolaro coming in. Um, in and, two weeks. Yeah, that's right. Uh, two weeks, that's right. And we have our, uh, I think we're going to have Carl Kozlowski joining us, doing a whole bunch more stuff also. Cool. So, hope you guys uh, have a great week. I hope that you don't um, kill yourselves. That would be terrible. I mean, we are fucking desperate for viewers. If you were going to kill yourself... Wait one week. Just watch next week's episode, and maybe this week you can find like a replacement viewer. You'd be like, "Hey man, like I'm gonna end this shit. 
Um, and I need you to take my place as a viewer for Grand Theft Audio. So tell them about it before you kill yourself, you selfish motherfucker! Okay, that's it. Bye, everybody. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Ha, 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 ha.